This is the new Predator 3500 Super Quiet Inverter Generator uh, for 2024. It's different from uh, the previous versions in the ways that people have been modding these. So this is the one with the wheel locks on the left side when you're looking at the front panel. This panel here does not have the oil drain and fill. It's actually located on the side with the pull start. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a, a break-in process on this and uh, showing some of the differences from the older version where you don't have to do some of the mods to this one. Alright, so this is the access panel for the side with the charcoal canister. This is one of the things you don't have to mod. You don't have to delete it. Another thing is the air filter box. It is slotted. <clears throat> so you don't have to drill holes in it for more airflow. Anyway, this new canister. See, this is the line coming from the fuel tank going in, in, in the center. And this is the vent that goes down to the air box. So this is the air inlet and then this is a drain. So instead of draining on the previous models, draining fuel into your air box, this is a separate drain that goes down here and drips. So you do not have to mod this uh, so you can keep these. Another difference is on the opposite side, the igniter, uh, they have moved that on this generation, so you do not have to mod that, and I think that they have also addressed the oil seepage issue. I'm pretty sure that they've fixed that. Also, one of the things I've done is this comes with a hose from the valve cover, if that's what you want to call it, to... Uh, the intake right here. So this is a positive crankcase ventilation. <clears throat> Took off this hose because I ordered some plugs. I'm going to plug this and then I'm going to put a filter on this. I do not want oily vapor going into my intake and getting all this nasty. So that's one of the things that uh, I will be doing. And then we're going to be using the driven break-in oil for this. I've got four quarts. I'm going to do 30 minutes, drain it, 30 minutes, drain it, an hour, an hour, and then two hours, and two hours. And then I'm going to run it for uh, eight hours with conventional. And then it's getting uh, AMSL. All right, here's the access port for doing your oil changes. I put a magnetic dipstick on it and a magnetic drain plug just for the break-in process. This actually comes instead of the drain plug. It comes with this. And then it's got this hose attached to that piece. So uh, draining the oil on these is really easy. You just pin this down, uh, take this cap off, and that's how you drain it. But for breaking it in, I'll be using the magnetic drain plug. Uh, another thing, I put a NGK spark plug in it. This is a platinum, I'm sorry, iridium. Do not use the six heat NGK plugs on these. They run 200 degrees hotter when you do that. You need to make sure you have a, a heat range of seven. I don't know where the... Here it is, 7EIX. Do not run anything with a 6 on it like some of these people are selling for these generators. Makes them run too hot. So I'm going to be putting this all in here, 20 ounces, running it for 30 minutes, and then starting that whole process. Alright, I just added my oil in there. I used 20 ounces. 
I use a little measuring cup. To make sure I got it perfect. I have not put fuel on this yet. I'm going to pull this crank real slowly a few times, get the oil kind of circulated a little bit <clears throat> before I start it. And then one of the other things that I've done, the exhaust right here, it comes with a welded on port. Uh, I don't have the piece I cut off, but it's shaped like this, so this can bolt onto it. This is for the spark arrestor. So with that piece welded on, there's this nub will not stick out. <clears throat> and I needed a nub sticking out there because I'm going to be running an extended exhaust pipe, which is going to be something like this. So I had to have something to clamp this to. So if you're going to be running an extended exhaust pipe, you're probably going to have to do that exact same thing. It's got four spot welds on it. You just cut them off. I just use the cut off wheel. But yeah, I'm going to pull this a couple times to get the oil kind of circulated around. Put fuel in it and start it up. This is the first run. It probably sounds really loud right next to it and it's actually really quiet. I'm going to be putting this exhaust muffler on there. It actually helps. I like it. And the last thing I can tell you guys is when you're breaking these in, put a load on them. You always want to break in your new equipment so it'll last. It's actually part of the machining process. Anyway, I hope this helps.